Hey everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup in SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So, I wanted to recreate a fall look that I had posted on my Instagram a few weeks ago, and I was really inspired by this um, eyeshadow. It is called the Definer Shade from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, and it's similar to a MAC shade called Club. The really unique part of this eyeshadow is that it's duochrome, so it has multiple facets of color, if you will. So it has um, some lights it's red, some lights it's purple, blue, brown, green, and so depending on what color you use in the crease can really change the dynamic of this color. And so I decided to use it today with a deep green color in the crease, and I originally wanted this to be a full drugstore tutorial, but I changed my mind and had to use this green color from Smashbox and a highlighter from Laura Mercier, so it went downhill from there. So, <laughs> so um, if you'd like to see how I did this technique, then please keep on watching. The other thing you want to be on the lookout for is how I use tape. And I use tape so that I could get this really crisp line on the outer edge of my eye. And if you are ever having trouble putting on winged eyeliner, tape is a really good tool to help you do that because it will help you with the guideline of where your eyeliner should go. Um, if you would like a full video on how I do my eyeliner, then I would definitely put that on my to-do list. I gave two lip options for this video, so I gave a pinky nude for those of you who would like a muted lip. And then I gave you this dark purple vampy lip for those of you who are a little brave and are willing to bend the rules to put a dramatic eye and dramatic lip together. I don't follow the rules, so I'm going to show you how to break them. <laughs> um, but if you're interested to see this look that I've created for you, then please keep on watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and see you in my next video. Bye! So starting with the bare face, I can't remember why I had my eyebrows on, but they are on. I'm priming with my Mineral Infused Primer from e.l.f. all over the face and basically around the parts where I get really oily. I'm using tape so I can make a crisp edge to my eyeshadow today, and here I'm having some trouble taking it off. And I'm doing this so that I can take the excess stickiness off of it so it doesn't rip my skin off of my face. And I'm aligning it with the lower part of my lash line and the edge of my um, eyebrow. So this is going to be a guideline for where our eyeshadows are going to end. Super attractivo, mm -hmm. ready to go out. Today we're using the Smashbox Master Class Palette 3, and it has a bunch of colors that I'm going to use today. And here I am an unprepared YouTuber, and I have to clean my brushes just a little bit. If you're familiar with the Veramona Color Switcher, this is the same exact idea. I'm using a rough sponge to take out excess powder from my brushes so I can switch colors between washes. First step is I'm priming my eyelids with my Fergie for Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. You can use any primer that you like, but this is my holiest of grails. The first color we're taking is called Vanilla, and I'm using that as a matte cream highlight for under the brow bone. The next thing that we're going to do is start to define the crease, and I'm using the bronze color in the palette. This is actually a bronzer for the face, but I thought it was a really nice mid-tone brown. And to really make the edge of the tape work, you're going to put that color all away and even blend on top of the tape so that you can start to define that edge. I like to raise my eyebrows so that I can see where my crease lies and so raising my eyebrows really helps fit that brush right where it belongs. One of the stars of this show is the definer color from the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild and I'm using that all over the lid all the way up to the crease with a e.l.f. essential flat shader brush. If I forget to mention a product or brush that I'm using, everything will be listed down below as well as where to get them if I can find a link. Now I'm just building up the color to the opacity that I want and as you can see as I tilt my head back and forth you can see how the color really changes and transforms in different lights. So the next color we're using is called Serpent from the palette and it's such a beautiful color. It's deep green with like blue, yellow, green shimmers in it and I'm going to take my time building up the color because I really don't want to make a mess of this whole thing. As you can see, I'm making small circles and just really blending it in that one area. 
I call it an outer triangle instead of an outer V and I'm taking whatever's left on the brush and starting to build that into the crease and blending outward so that it has that sort of winged out look. Now I'm going to do the same to the other eye and here in this light you can really see how true to color this green is and now you can see that it's bringing out the reddish tones from the first eyeshadow and it just reminds me of how leaves change in the fall. You can take more of that bronzing shade to really buff out the edges or you can just use the brush empty to really just make small circles to blend everything out. Now this is optional, I decided to use a matte brown shade to further define the crease and I just wanted to break up the shimmer on my eyelids. And you always want to go back and blend, 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 blend. It helps everything become more cohesive and more professional looking. Now I'm going to take off the tape, being ever so careful as to not rip the hairs off my face. And now you can see how clean and perfect those lines are. You can keep them as is or you can blend them out. I'm going to keep them sharp. And if you think you lost a little bit of that eyeshadow, go ahead and put some more of the definer shade. Now I'm going to start highlighting and um, concealing with my Maybelline Fit Me and Instant Age Rewind Concealers. If you want to see how I do my face, you can look at any of my other tutorials. This one I've decided to use my Bare Minerals foundation. Now in the fall, my face transitions from being super, super oily to getting some dry patches. So this will probably be one of the last few times that I can use my Bare Minerals powder foundation. Just because in the winter, my skin starts to show those dry patches more than ever. If you know any tips on how I can keep using my Bare Minerals foundation through the fall and winter times, let me know. I'm thinking maybe if I get a more moisturizing primer or lotion, then it will make my skin more nourished. But definitely comment down below if you have any ideas. So here I'm just setting with my e.l.f. Mineral Booster. It's uh, in the transparent shade and I'm using that to set. I use it um, interchangeably with my mineral veil from Bare Minerals and it's really really cheap it's like five bucks as always I set my under eye concealer and here I'm using my HD setting powder from elf with a mineral elf brush To highlight my inner corner, I'm using the Brow Bone shade from the Comfort Zone palette and I'm using that on an up and up crease brush. Now we're working on our lower lash line and I put that definer shade first just so I could have something to blend out with and then I'm using the green shade in the outer corner. Now this is what we have so far. Your eyeshadow is pretty much done. I have my base done, it's highlighted and evened out my skin tone. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner. It's only $2. And this is actually the first time I think I have filmed myself doing my eyeliner, so I'm really proud of it. Um, and it's in focus. So what I do first is I put a thin line all over the lash line and then I start to show where my wing is going to be and then I create a triangle and fill it in. So if you want to see me do an eyeliner video, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to do that. But this eyeliner is top notch. It's really good and inky, really black and um, it's really inexpensive. So thanks to that tape leaving a very crisp line, I know exactly where to put the edge of my wing. Going back to the face, I'm using my Anastasia Contour Palette to start bronzing up my face. I actually use a mixture of all three colors. Um, I'm going to use Havana to bronze just pretty much the sides of my face and the perimeter. So that's up on my forehead and down below my chin. And then I'm going to take a mixture of Fawn and Java to really start to contour the hollows of my cheeks. And here I'm using an amazing brush. It's from um, Everyday Minerals and I heard they just got it back on their website. So if you're interested in this brush, I think it's a cheaper alternative for the NARS Eda brush. So definitely check down below for a link where you can buy this brush and I'm using that just to chisel out and blend the contour of my cheek.
on an Everly blush brush. I'm taking the color Embraced from the Tarte Amazonian Pinup Palette and I'm using that to blend pretty much above my contour and all the way up to the hairline. So here I'm using my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance in Highlight 01 and it's such a beautiful color. If angels were to sprinkle their magic onto your face, this is what that highlight would look like. It is a gorgeous pigmented highlighter and I love using this e.l.f. fan brush to really feather it on. And after curling, we're going to use our Best Lash Extreme Mascara from Jordana and we're going to put tons of coats on top and bottom lashes. So I always manage to get a chunk of mascara on my skin, so here I am wiping it off. Wait 30 seconds and then you can take it off easily. So our first lip color is going to be a neutral one. Here I'm using my Rockin' Rose Lip Liner from Jordana. First I'm going to line my lips and then fill it in. Then using this lipstick from the new Maybelline Color Sensation Matte Line, I'm using the color Touch of Spice all over the lips. I think this is really pretty for fall. The eyes are the focus and the pink tones in the cheeks and lips really pull it together. But if you wanted to do a little bit of a darker look, I have a second choice for you. So the second lip option is a matte lip cream from NYX in the color Transylvania. And this is the first time I used it and I think it's better in two coats. One coat may seem a little bit patchy, but full on the color is beautiful, easy to wear on the lips and very creamy. Um, this is probably how I would wear it in the fall. I think it coordinates really well with the dark eyes and I just think it's so fall appropriate. So if you liked this tutorial, please like and comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! I don't know if I'm crooked or you're crooked. I'll look for you and so I gave you this bad boy. It is flecks of green and red and... Hey everyone, this... Hold the phone. Please, this place.